Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Ori, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and the Restoration of Room campaign. So last episode, we kicked off a war against the Ottomans, and Muscovy intervened, because he's a dick. Yeah, I, I don't like Muscovy. <laughs> I also noticed that, um, oh, I thought this was Yazd, actually. I thought uh, Yazd has, had expanded. They're still alive, and I'm... I am considering dropping a guarantee on them, but I don't know. I don't know. It feels like I don't I don't really want to tie down one of our Diplo slots. You know what I mean? I just really don't. We're going to go ahead and fire our level 2 advisor because he's super expensive. And we do not have the money for him right now. We're probably just going to get this national manpower guy back up and on the go. We're going to go see about taking out this smaller Ottoman stack down here. Uh, they got a Defender's Dessert. Now, that being said, we could... Well, we only have a 25 stack. We have to keep that in mind as well. We only have a 25 stack. So, the, um... The Poles have resieged Alexandria, which is good. If we... I wonder. Tunis is going to be a pro, uh, annoying. I didn't realize they were as large as they were, but... This whole uh, affair would be quite a bit more uh, manageable if Muscovy hadn't joined, which is annoying. Let's see, what, what are you doing? Hmm. What is he doing? Well, I will catch this two stack, I think. Nope, we caught the whole stack. That's fine. Hope Are the Ottomans going to break this siege? I don't think so. Nope, I don't believe so. We're going to take heavier casualties. Well, not really, actually. We wiped out that. That's about... It's similar casualties, actually. I'm pretty pleased with that. Ottomans. Oh, we could get a white piece. We could get 55 ducats, and I think we're going to, honestly. I know this may seem like a cop-out, but with Muscovy getting involved, I just really don't think this is going to be a super viable war currently because it's kind of a problem everyone's totally fine with this like okay okay yep yep i get 17 ducats out of this we split it up let's go ahead and just do it with muscovy getting involved that makes this a lot it basically makes it just kind of not viable anymore i feel well, we're going to head back to Karaman, let our army replenish somewhat. We'll probably have... No, we won't have to take another loan, more than likely. Yeah, we have plenty, plenty of manpower available. Let's go ahead and pick up our next humanist idea. Well, we're actually really close to Diplo... Admin Tech 10. That, ne that humanist idea could be really good, actually. Poland, yes, you can have military access. That's totally fine, buddy. We do have some rebels to go deal with, so let's go deal with that before uh, anything else, before they get out of hand, basically. Mil- er, uh, Diplotech. Yeah, let's take it. That'll give us uh, extra trade efficiency and some trade efficiency for quite a, a while to come, which is quite nice. Now, uh, 356 for this. What's what's this going to cost? 510? I, th I think we take it. That national unrest is going to be super useful. So I think we take it, honestly. Yeah. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, so we do have to get over here quickly before this uh, siege falls, which I think we'll be able to because we have that six maneuver general. We should be able to even get there before the next siege tick. Yep. And we got him. And it's a mountain fort, so we're just going to annihilate these guys, which is fine. We'll run down to Van. Desiege that real quick. We'll go ahead and mothball Trabs on. And, uh... Hmm. I mean, we could call Mamluks in for land here. Who are you allied to? You're just allied to Artabil. Oh. Oh, oh, we need a spy network here. Um, we can get more claims on the Ottomans as well. So I think we'll do that. Let's get a claim here, because it's a center of trade. Um, let's get a claim here, because it's 11 dev. All right, cool. We had barely enough spy network for that. That's kind of amusing. So this this will come back because it's in the fourth zone of control. Excellent. We can mothball cars because we can't really afford to pay for that fort currently. Our income is not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. 
So the price of grain's gone down. Price of livestock went up. We have a decent bit of livestock, actually, so that may help our economy somewhat. We're going to head back over to the, roughly the center of our empire. Well, our kingdom. It's not an empire yet, but it will be. It definitely will be. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be behind time on admin tech a bit, but I really do think getting that uh, national unrest in Cap Combat ability is going to be quite nice. Catholic Zealots in Kaffa. Um, okay, we can do that. We'll send some troops up there for sure. Cause I don't want to. I don't want to see Theodoro get wrecked. I would like him to convert this land. Would like him to at least be a. I would definitely like him to be a stable subject. All right, Crimea has expanded again, which is quite funny. I don't want to no-CB them, but Theodoro doesn't appear super interested in getting claims on them. We'll just send some troops up here to help deal with these potential Catholic Zealots. It's all good. And then we'll probably be going after Shervon because he does not have any real allies right now other than Artabil. And I would like to go ahead and just snag all of this land. That would be glorious. Alright, let's see here. We can make states still. Eh. It's still the same two states. I don't think it's really going to be worth it. Beatless. Uh, where's Beatless? Right here. We could convert this, actually. Eh. You know, actually, I you know, I think we might, honestly, in this state. In uh, Kurdistan. I think we probably will. Eh, yeah, you know, I don't know, maybe. We'll see. We're still losing a little bit of money. Not too bad overall, though. I don't think it's that, uh... I don't think it's the end of the world. We do have a truce with the Ottomans for right now. Meaning they won't be able to join a coalition against us. Oh, uh, if Muscovy hadn't intervened, we would have been totally fine in that war. Totally fine. But that was just a little much. Uh, yeah, I'll take the... I'll take that, uh loss, unfortunately. Fortunately, I'll sacrifice that 50 Diplo power just because I don't want to get more mercantilism. Or I don't want to sacrifice mercantilism. We don't have very much, but mercantilism is quite nice. Alright, so one month and we'll be able to get our claim on Shervon. I think that's going to be fine. Is this fully maintained? Nope, it's mothballed. That is amazing. That is amazing. So we're sitting here until this is converted, possibly? I don't know. Let's look at the army size of Shervon. Uh, I don't care about quality. Show me size right now. Shervon, 10k. Uh, let's, I guess let's check the quality. Uh, just to be on the safe side. Shervon, 3-something morale. They do have some discipline, but uh, it's not that bad. This should be converted fairly quickly. I mean, I'd like to go in for that war as soon as possible, but I would also like to help Theodora with these rebels. Beatlessy separatists. We might be seeing some separatists here at some point. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're in a uh, pretty good spot overall honestly this is converting still and we will just kind of wait for a little while um how big would this uprising be actually a 10k hmm i might just leave no we'll leave the whole stack up here it's fine we are making some money amazingly enough can we get another claim on the mamluk or ottomans no we can't Hmm, our economy is pretty bad right now. It's pretty rubbish overall, but, you know, I think, uh... I'm fine with that, to be honest. Because we are... It's still a work in progress, honestly. As the autonomy comes down through here, that'll help. Uh, and once we conquer some of these higher development provinces out here, that'll help quite a bit because the Ottomans have been doing some development to them. Let's see here. Army... Let's look at manpower, actually. Ottoman manpower, we did burn a little bit of it. They have a lot more force limit than we do, which is kind of one of our issues. We don't have that much force limit overall. We only have 26 force limit right now, which is not ideal. 
Not ideal. A lot of it's from autonomy, though. A lot of it's from autonomy. Ooh, 9.9. .9. Ooh. If we can get our religious unity and war exhaustion gone, we can definitely lower autonomy through here. Speaking of which, we can actually lower autonomy all through here. And still have zero unrest. What about here in Urfa? Yep. And lower autonomy there. What about out here? What are we looking at? Autonomy or uh, negative 12 unrest. Let's go ahead and lower that. Negative 12 as well. Negative 3. So we won't uh, do anything with mush. We do anything with van. Nope. Because that just recently rose up. And I think that's really all we can do with the uh, autonomy right now. That's not too bad. That'll probably help. We're up to 28 now. Up to 28. That should help with the economy a little bit too, actually. Yeah, making almost a ducat a month now at full maintenance. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. This is almost done converting. Almost. And then we'll be able to move our army, because we're helping our subject right now, because he can't afford anything. Let's see. He's in, Yeah, he's uh, his economy is not great right now, but that's probably because he has uh, some forts and stuff, and he's converting. And yeah, once he converts some of this land, he'll be just fine. Like, once he converts Kaffa, he'll be totally fine, because that's 10 dev. It's uh, center of trade. Be in good shape there. Condottieri, the Mamluks. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to war with Ethiopia. Cool. Have fun, buddy. Do you need me? I don't think you need me. Otherwise, you would have called me in. Let's see, I'm just checking. I'm hoping Shervan doesn't pick up another super annoying ally. Uh, these guys are both allied to Muscovy. We still don't have a CB here on um, Crimea, which is annoying. I would very much like that CB. Our alliance with the Poles is a little... Yeah, it's fine, actually. I'm not really... I'm honestly not super interested in uh, keeping them as a long-term ally. It might be nice, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll definitely have to play that one by ear. I mean, they'd be a nice deterrent against Muscovy. Even though Muscovy intervened in that war, knowing full well they would fight the PLC. Damn it, Muscovy. Okay, this is Orthodox. We now bring the troops home. There you go, subject friend. I helped you. I'm not helping you anymore. Um, ooh, this is nice. Well, since we have 98 uh, piety already, I think we're going to go ahead, debase the currency. We will go ahead and then reduce our corruption. We'll get back towards legalism a bit. There we go. And now we have 200 ducats suddenly. How did that happen? Is this still mothballed? Yes, it is. So we're going to be able to get that immediately. We'll, we'll declare on the first of the month. There we go. Because I want this Georgian land. We don't Oh, we don't have a spy network. Okay. Whew. I was... I was uh, we don't have a claim, derp. We do have a spy network, but we don't have a claim. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. Um, get the claim. Because this is Georgian land, and we've accepted Georgian culture. This will hurt our religious unity overall. Uh, ooh, Hajj caravans were raided. We'll take the prestige and legitimacy hit. Declare this war immediately. Go in, conquer this fort right off the bat. It is mothballed, so we should be able to easily get this. Get some free expansion. Oh, yes. Siege down. Ta-da! Don't you dare convert this. No, don't you dare convert this. This is my land. We'll go ahead and split uh, some of the cav off, because our cavalry is much better now. So we'll split some of it off to run over here to siege this down real quick, and then we'll start moving down towards Shirvan. We will have to move in and siege Artabil down as well, just to get him out of this war. Um, hmm. No, I think we're going to go ahead and make the Ulema mad. Unfortunately, we will go ahead and throw them a small gift. 51 ducats. I'm fine with that. Already at 19% war score. Um, 
I'll take that uh, prestige hit as well because now we're pretty much we're back at 100% legalism already, which is glorious. We're making two ducats a month currently, even with all of our forts running, that's pretty impressive. So we could build some buildings. Ooh, yes, let's build the production building in Karaman. That makes us 0.28 ducats a month. Yes, please. Actually, we're gonna go over here and siege down um, Artabil so we can get them out of this war. Shirvan has some cav arriving, which I find quite amusing. For some cannons. Wonder where they're headed. Aha! Found you. Would you be willing to just give me this state? No? No, you don't want to give me this? Okay, well, that's fine. We'll go ahead and just siege Shirvan down then. That won't. It shouldn't take too long. We have a fair number of cannons available. Lost a claim on Yerevan, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we lost our claim up there. That is kind of unfortunate. They are going to have to go siege that fort down, though. More than likely. We don't have a fort through here anymore, which is kind of annoying. I guess that there was a reason. I guess there was uh, an argument for keeping that fort, but... Eh. I didn't really think it was worth it. Um, legalism. Mysticism. Sure, let them have... Yeah, sure. Rebels in all two, yay! And there's Artabil's army. So these guys are just going to kind of sneak over here, I suppose. Probably not too much of an issue. As soon as we have the Siege of uh, Shirvan done, we, and we have a wall breach, that's great. So as soon as this Siege is over, I'll probably have uh, enough war... We'll probably have the war score we need. I mean, we almost have enough there, and I wouldn't. I would love to take all of this land here as well in the uh, Shirvan state, or at least two of the. Pro I'd love to take Shirvan because it's a center of trade. And that's always really nice. All right, there's the. Uh, there's their army. Let's wait until they're locked in, and they're locked in. We're gonna go just annihilate them now. Surprise! Get out. <laughs> uh, that's funny. We'll get, we can go ahead and bring this stack back down now. Although it was keeping that cab at bay. I suppose. Let's wait till this guy gets locked in and then just kind of do this again real quick. Some extra war score. Always good. Group the stack back up. Supply shortage. Excellent. Rebels are sieging this, but I'm not that worried about it, honestly. We should be able to wrap up our siege here long before um, these Georgian separatists finish off that siege. This is nice. You know, we all honestly could go all the way down into, like, here, but I think that might be a little much. Well, uh, this is all Shia land as well. I was thinking, I was like, oh, this is Sunni land. But it's not, sadly. It's been a little while since I've played in this region. I've kind of forgotten a few things. Um, damn right, I want to protect my trade. <laughs> All right, um, ooh, do we sack it? Yeah, we sack, we, we're sacking Shervon. And I think that's the war pretty much, so let's go ahead and take all of your money, thank you. War reps, done and done. Good stuff. Fresh state, bunch of money. We can take our next humanist idea already, but we're not going to. Because we need to catch ourselves up on that admin tech. Get ourselves admin tech 10 up and on the go. Not too bad, honestly. Quite a bit of money. Ooh, I would love to build this manufactory in um, Karaman. Let's go ahead and build the... Um, We'll go ahead and build a pair of tax buildings, actually. Now that Trabzon's autonomy is coming down a fair bit, this is actually a fairly wealthy state. As long as the Dimmy are happy, it's fairly wealthy. Annihilate these Georgian peasants. Excellent. We will keep this second fort, I think. I think it's going to be a viable use of... Uh, <clears throat> I think it's... Yeah. I think having this fort is going to be... Well, no. We already have the mountain fort of cars. 
That's fine. I'm totally fine with the Mountain Fort of Cars. Alright, so the Alima granted generalship has us has expired. Let's go ahead and stop paying the troops for now. Now uh, we will take attrition there. Um, we'd have to march down here, and we probably won't make it without this guy. So let's just march down here to uh, Diabekir. It's going to be just fine. And then we'll just let some manpower come back. Get our, uh, yeah, get everything up and on the go. I think we will hire a, uh, no, nah, not the land force guy. L land force limit, excuse me. We won't hire him. Improve relations could be nice, actually. To get ourselves some AE reduction. That could be quite nice. Let's go ahead and get claims here as well. We can pull our diplomats back now. Start spying on QQ. Uh, 10... Uh, wait, is the fort... Okay, yeah. Alright, we'll go ahead and pay the troops. Uh, we'll run over, bop that rebellion real quick. Shouldn't take too long. We can probably... Well, we'll leave cars up because we need to get this devastation down. We will wait and get a little extra morale. They can take some attrition. Repay one of our loans. We're down to two now, which is pretty nice. One more month on that replenishment of morale. We'll go in and annihilate these fools and traps on. The fools. So our economy's in a good spot now, I feel, and I'm quite pleased about that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You guys go over here. Just come over to one of these provinces that's somewhere in the middle of the country. Still can make states, but I think we're going to save, uh... Well, we could... We probably should, honestly, make states. What should we be doing with our other diplomat is the uh, question. Let's, I guess let's go allies. Theodoro is completely and 100% thrilled with us. He's at uh, over 200, which is quite nice. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll definitely have to play this by ear. This uh, Mamluk, or this um, Ottoman-Tunisian-Bohemian alliance is rather annoying. Hmm. I guess you guys have to march to Adana. Shouldn't have gotten the attrition there. Yep, did not. Good. Go ahead and cease to pay the army at this point. Making 5.4 ducats a month. We can even leave all of our forts on at this point. Adnan. <laughs> even though we have massive amounts of inflation. I can go ahead and pick up this uh, Admin Tech 10. Very happy. We have another set of ideas. Now the question is, what do we take? And I'm thinking we go for another military group, honestly. Hmm, the question is, what do we go for immediately? Should we go... Well, let's see, what uh, pairs well with our ideas? Offensive could get us years... Eh, it's not really worth it. Uh, quantity could get us land leader shock, that's pretty nice. Trade could be pretty good as well. Trade could be very good. Influence also could be good as well. We'll have to see. Hmm. I'm actually really tempted to go trade. Just because, uh, partially because trade and defensive gives you an extra merchant and trade steering, which is kind of nice. It's at the cost of military points, though. But that would probably help with our income a fair bit. Because if we look at it, we're not making a lot off of trade. Because we don't have that great of a trade node. I mean... Our home node is Aleppo, which is pretty lackluster overall. Hmm. Trade's probably not worth it right now. Let's go ahead and pick up another, um... I think a military idea, honestly. Well, then again, we'd have... I'd rather stay close with Miltech. Um... Hmm. Well, I don't know, honestly. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. We won't pick this one just yet. Well, at the same time, I kind of have to record these in bulk, so... I don't know. I'll think about it between episodes and uh, make my decision at that point. Because this is where we have to wrap up for today, unfortunately. So, as always, I would like to thank you for tuning in spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. 
If you guys are enjoying the series, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really does help the channel out and subscribe for more grand strategy content in the future. My name is Ori. I do hope you have a fantastic day and we'll catch you in the next one.